head cut off. Crap. <sighs> Hopefully this is better. Okay. Okay, let's get this started quick because I am getting really hungry. And I'm very lazy, so I'm not using my regular camera or camcorder. I'm using my Sony next today, and this camera tends to overheat if I record too long. So, um, yeah. If you didn't watch my last video, I went to go shopping for an orphan, <laughs> orphan Christmas. But I didn't really find much uh, like seasonal, special holiday things that seemed fun. So I just bought these things that I'd never seen before. Um, because in North America, you don't really see things change that often. I think because even though seasons change, we get like everything. So if they're off season, they might be more expensive, but they're still available. So. But I found these things that are like really interesting. So if you didn't see my last video, I found these limited edition white fudge Oreos. And I think they're different than white chocolate covered ones. I'm not sure. Uh, they might be the same. I don't know. We'll see. And then I got these Chips Ahoy cookies that are brownie filled. I don't know how they do this, but yeah. And then I got this. Reese's Chips Ahoy, which I had never seen until now. And then before starting this, I wanted to get a big like plastic um, bottle of milk tea, but I couldn't find that one that I wanted, which is the Keating one. Um, yeah, so uh, 99 Ranch should step up their drink variety. But yeah, I got this Taiwanese version, which is not even in a, in a plastic bottle. It's in this weird. Um, Paper. What? And it's called Tea Time. And this one's Earl Grey Milk Tea. I got a tiramisu one, so I might do a video on that next. So it's like tiramisu flavored milk tea. Hopefully it tastes good. I don't want to waste a dollar seventy on it. But I got this Earl Grey one, and this should last me for everything since it's 16 ounces. Well, 17 ounces, 16.9. So let's get started. Um, I guess I should try the milk tea first. This kind of dirty though. I should like this. Besides Earl Grey, there was like a barley one, but I don't know how barley tastes like. And then there's this other one that's like da something, something big, something. I don't know that. I don't know my teas. Ugh, it tastes like soy milk. I don't like soy milk. But this will do. I wanted something to like counter sweetness, so I guess that helps. <laughs> White fudge covered Oreos. I watched this video from like Charla in Japan where she ate like this French one. It just says like white chocolate covered Oreos. But the packaging looks almost the same, so I'm not sure how they're different. But these aren't given individually packed. I really like this inside. This is like the closest thing to me being in a mukbang. I eat so slow, so I don't think I can do that. It looks kind of like a macaron or a macaroon. I don't know how they're pronounced. But if you want to be cheap and like put this in a nicer box, I think it would really fool the person. Mm. It doesn't really taste like an Oreo anymore. But it does remind me of a Thin Mint from the Girl Scouts, yeah. Except I would prefer that over this. You know how like milk is like the Oreo's best friend? I don't think this is, um, I don't think milk is a good, I don't think milk is a good like drink choice for this. I really wish 99 Ranch had more Japanese milk cheese. There's like none. All I found was like a Thai one and then this Thai one. I should have just gotten a passion fruit green tea. I should have just gotten a soda with this, even though I like sodas with my meals, not necessarily with like snacks. 
I'll save this one for last. Because it's like the most seasoned one. Reese's Chips Ahoy cookies. Are you a fan of chewy cookies? I don't really eat these much, I don't know. I'm reminded of childhood with a mild kick of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Which is like one of my favorite chocolates, but then not the top. I definitely like this better than the Oreos. So this would be a good milk companion. And lastly, brownie filled Chips Ahoy. And there's instructions to warm it up too, so if you can read it, it says... Heat for a treat. I'm so, so curious to know the texture of this. As you can see, it's a regular cookie. And I will bite into it. It looks like this on the side. I am reminded of a brownie, but I don't know if I would want to buy this again. It just reminds me of a regular chocolate chip cookie, but like the inside is very chewy and like like white people cake is very moist. So yeah, that was interesting. I would definitely rank the Oreos last because um, this white fudge is not my thing. This is one I'll probably have to finish first though because the packaging is not the most practical for keeping things not stale. And then I would do the brownie filled chips of white second. And then the first one would be Reese's because I love these. And then I think this adheres most to its like name or like the claim. But yeah, that was kind of fun, I guess. Well, if you're curious of what I do with them afterwards, I eat cookies after I work out, so it would be like in the middle of the night. And after I shower, I have like two bananas and then I eat cookies along with a big cup of milk. Because I'm not a lactose Asian, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, if you like videos like this, do subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!